lot of people have a different outlook on how they go about their game. But I know at the end of the day, like I'll be thankful for everything that I go through. 20 years from now, I want to be able to look back and look myself in the mirror and say, you did everything in your ability to be the best baseball player, the best human being that you can be. I'm from a super small town in Oklahoma called Spiro, Oklahoma. Moved to Broken Arrow for more exposure in baseball. Broken Arrow is the number one largest public school in Oklahoma. You're competing not against, you know, just the guys that you've always grown up with, but now you're competing against, you know, everybody in Oklahoma. My name was called and I was drafted by the Chicago Cubs and it was a dream come true. Getting to 2021, I started getting like a little pinch in the back of my shoulder. The next day, like, I could not even lift up my arm. And I was like, there's definitely something wrong here. But I had a grade two subscap strain right in my shoulder. When I found out that I was gonna be out the whole year after missing 2020 with COVID, it was heartbreaking for me. Building up took every day. I was like, you wanna go in there, kill your rehab, so eventually you can go out and you know be the best you can be on the field. It is a beautiful day for baseball. The last two days. It was a Sunday day game, and I did not sleep at all before. His last appearance on a mound in a minor league game back on August 31st. I was shaking. I was so ready to go out there. I just had to sit there, and I took a deep breath, and I looked around, and I was like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Big righty. Two-strike pitch. Not wasting any time. Strikes out the very first batter he faces since 2019. Franklin into the line. The 2-2, another strikeout. 97 blows it by Burl Dixon, back-to-back -back K's. It's hard for me to put into words, you know, how it felt walking off that mound knowing I was healthy after making my first start. I was like, I'm back, finally. You know, you never know who has a bad day. You never know, you know, who's having a good day. And so I feel like, you know, I, I owe it to those people who are having bad days to make them laugh and have, make them have a better day. And so that's, that's kind of what, you know, what brings me happiness too. I started wanting to be a better person for other people is when I got hurt and like I needed somebody during the rehab process that would take me out of my thoughts and help me see the good side of things. I used to put a lot of pressure on myself. I would tell myself, I have to do this, I have to do this. But honestly, kind of changed a lot, you know, the mental side of things. And a lot of the pressure that we put on ourselves as athletes is really unneeded. So I kind of just started focusing on you know, what I can control and not worrying too much about what I can't. Now, every day I come to the field, I'm like, I'm here today to make myself better, to push myself a little forward, to become a big leader and achieve my ultimate goal of becoming a Chicago Cub. How you feeling, dude? I feel really good. I would say the biggest thing that I'm working on for the next step is commanding the strike zone. Heater up being able to pitch the top part of the zone with my fastball and at the bottom part of the zone, my curveball. One more curveball, then we'll go fastball. I really want to be able to get over the 100 inning threshold as a starting pitcher. That's kind of the goal for me. And then after that, I want to be able to go out there and utilize my talents, my ability, anything I can do for this team. Dude, change up, when you stay tall and you get out front on that change up, dude, it just disappears. When I first got injured, it really made me take a step back and never take a day for granted being able to play this game that I love. When you go through something like that, you have a different outlook on every single day that you get to come here. It makes you very grateful. The moment I get that call from the Cubs, I'll look back on all the things that I went through, all truly paid off.